Hello, thanks for tuning in. It was extremely breezy outside, so I was not able to uh, let the recording be as it is. So I thought I'm just going to use a voiceover instead and then let the video be. So today uh, you will be spending the rest of your five minutes knowing about Sibley residents or residents in Canada, I can say, because almost everything is similar. And right here in the video, I'm just showing the parking lot and I just said that, you know, I am a disciplined residence and then I've turned the camera to just show how the parking area looks like. And this is simply residence when the climate is good and uh, the snow is cleared off. And um, basically, it's uh, just walkable distance from the college, but you also have a bus. Um, that is uh, drops you off to the college or picks you up from the college and drops you off to the uh, residence so everyone staying here gets a key uh, that is what i'm going to show and this is very important that you do not lose it if you lose it you get a fine but also it's important to not share it or give it to anyone and every lock here in the dorm comes with these uh, system locks and then you just got to tap the key and the door opens so this is inside Sibley residence uh, this is basically the help desk where the managers are seated and they are off during the weekend so that's why it's closed because it's a weekend and basically everything else if you have any questions you can come down here and just ask them moving forward um these this is again a door just inside the residence where you got to tap with the key this is the uh security protected lock and then just when you enter you have all the rooms next to each other this could be sharing this could be a single room if it's sharing it's two people in a room with the oven and a microwave or a microwave and um, a fridge a small fridge And then here we have the washrooms. These are again a shared area. If you've not uh, taken the private or personal room where you get an attached bathroom, this is where you get the drinking water. Just moving um, outside from this door is where you've seen in my other videos that I keep posting this picture uh, because this view is seen from my uh, room and um, yeah, the stream, it's a very beautiful view over here. This river stream keeps running and then uh, because it's snowing now, it's all been frozen and then here I'm just trying to say that simply residence is really huge, it's long, there are different different blocks, there is east wing, west wing and it's safe and secure but uh, after 10 it's only the main door that you can uh, enter the residence into, you cannot use any of these doors even if you have a key. There are also different areas in the block, there is men's area, uh, like this one and then there are female areas uh, the one above and um, there are also other family areas where you can just um, have your parents come and stay with you for a while so there are different different charges for that you can discuss it with the uh, manager uh, at the residence and then um, see what's best for you This is basically the shower area. There's no bathtub, so it's just the uh, shower. And then if you want to wash your plates or anything, you'll have to use the common uh, area. And this is a single room. It comes with a fridge, oven, a bed, and uh, a chair, wardrobe, and a table for us to sit and work. And in residence, we get two cars, basically a Sodexo, which is of $100,000, sorry, that you have to load it. And then you can use this meal pass in the cafeteria. Every time you buy something, you just use this to tap on it. And the second card you have is a laundry because here you have to load a card for the laundry and it's $2 for washing and $2 for drying. 